Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Uh, before we move forward, just want to thank our one of our newest patrons, 55. Thank you, 55. Couldn't do it without you guys. We have a lot going on personally today. It was an extremely busy day. We weren't bailing water, um, and we are thankful. We are praying right now and sending out a lot of positive um, vibrations for some of our family members that we've been trying to get in contact with and we have not been able to. Um, we did make contact with a dear friend that's in the astral area. All, all they said was we are flooding with exclamation points and haven't uh, gotten anything back from them. I, I'm sure they're um, just busy with a God knows what. I mean, it's crazy as you're looking at Asheville, North Carolina, you know, when Cindy and I first got together, yeah, we, I was living in the Asheville area. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of friends and family over in this area. Please do send your prayers and your best intentions out that uh, people will be kept safe and whoever is in trouble could be found and, and helped as soon as possible. Yeah, I mean, if we could, if if you guys could please grab your crystals, grab your candles, um, please sit, have a moment, join us, because we are definitely doing a lot of mantras, saying a lot of prayers for people over in that direction, and it's so vast, this is so big, I mean, it's incredible, it's like, where is this water coming from, and that's a legitimate question. Yeah, you know, I, I think... Um when we were talking about the potential of this storm, I, I only saw one <laughs> comment where somebody said, oh, clickbait, uh, fear-mongering. You think? No, we're trying to tell people to wake up and be prepared because you could feel this was going to be a real big one. And this is a historic storm. In some ways, you know, this is definitely, you know, they always want to put labels on it. Well, you know, once in a century... This is a big one, and you know, um, it's eerie, the amount of similarities between this and the last Hurricane Helene, because the last Hurricane Helene that came, I want to say was 58, somewhere in the 50s, I know it was in the 1950s, uh, it was a Category 4, top speed was about the same, 150 mile an hour, and it did similar damage all the way from Florida on up to the Carolinas, and, and you know, it's eerie. Because it's 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 very similar and it almost feels just really weird. Mm -mm. I know it does. It feels odd. I mean, the information that I got in, I, I really didn't like. Um, but what I feel is this was almost like. Uh, I mean, I see this as technology. They they really have no problems running their technology, and I feel this is somewhat of a, a test run for something that might be much worse in the future. I hope not. I pray not. But how do we tell the future with the controllers? We look to see what they've done in the past, and well, they haven't have not hesitated to make people's lives miserable, and that's why I want to send this energetic buffer out to people who might be in harm's way or who need some help and and help them help them energy is is a very big deal it really helps us through the hardest times of our life if we have nothing else we have the ability to pray and that's what i want to just hammer home tonight for these folks coincidentally this hurricane helene from 1958 um you know again same intensity and everything it hit 66 years ago on the exact same day <laughs> hello oh act of god mm, now nah, i think something different meanwhile when your neighbors are going to drop by for dinner this is just incredible the, and and again please send out your prayers there's definitely people that are not accounted for uh yet at this point and you know when you're looking at a hurricane that's landfalling in florida you don't necessarily think that most of the deaths are going to come out of the carolinas um and and yet this is what we're seeing here jonesboro tennessee uh, uh, eastern tennessee as you see houses floating by very impacted we reached out to our good friend that you may know uh david debine adapt 2030 just to see if he's okay because 
he's in eastern Tennessee, right up, right on the edge of the mountains that you know all this flooding is occurring. Um, I haven't heard back from him yet. I'll let you guys know um, when we do. Uh, no, that wasn't him. And you know, again, please do send out those prayers. They make a huge difference. This is Boone, North Carolina. Wow, you know, Boone is a, a really uh, cool place. It's, it is Mayberry. It literally is Mayberry. Uh, Boone, North Carolina, up in the mountains, beautiful. It's just so quaint. And as you can see, it's well underwater. Worst flooding, they say, uh, since 1940. Now, you know, Lake Lore, we're going to show you, and Chimney Rock. Chimney Rock is very, very famous, and they did film um, the last of the Mohegans movie in this area. It is stunningly gorgeous, this area. And here you go, Lake Lore. Dam breaks. Yeah, there were issues with multiple dams. Um, it, it's just a nightmare. And this is why I, I've been kind of fixed on this because this this is an east coast thing this has impacted the whole nation greatly in in fact i-40 is blocked off i-40 goes coast to coast starts in wilmington north carolina goes all the way over uh to california and i've brought up in the past that if you were going to um have some sort of military operation transpire and literally try to invade the U.S. You might want to uh, go ahead and cut off some of the main thoroughfares in order to make things more complicated with moving supplies and reinforcements, etc., etc. We were talking over on EE Arts about timeline changes. I am uh, definitely feeling more positive, but at the same time, I recognize that, you know, this system the dark matrix isn't going to just say oh here's the keys to the kingdom they're not going to do that no they're they're going to go out with a bang and they're going to go uh clawing and scratching they are losing their grip their stranglehold we understand that they control all the media we understand they control the monetary systems oh boy yeah tomorrow we're going to talk uh, about some financial things um, I want to delve into it a little bit more, but uh, again, we're getting close to major, major things happening. And this is a major thing as you're looking at this area. And again, cell, cell phone data is um, definitely impacted. You have a lot of towers down. This is, this looks mud flood. Does it not? Look at this. You know, Chimney Rock, again completely gone beautiful beautiful areas this is another angle of the flooding over there in chimney rock as you can see there are so many people stranded right now that that and and this is all along you know the whole area from florida up into the carolinas and also tennessee right now the storm is up in kentucky and you know while it's it's winding down it's going to kind of settle in over in that area and here you can see this is eastern tennessee the waterville dam failing and all this water coming rushing in uh there are people on roofs in in more than one state right now still waiting for help yeah, the hospital one we're coming to, this is, I know this overpass, this is I-40 looking down at US-74. I used to go this way when I was living in the Asheville area. I would go over this area all the time. And the Blue Ridge Parkway, what a beautiful ride the Blue Ridge Parkway is. If you have not taken that ride at some point in time when the roads are open, I would heartily suggest it. It is gorgeous, as you can see. This is completely underwater. This is a massive amount of water. Massive amount. And this is, again, I-40 between uh, Tennessee and North Carolina. Now, right over there, uh, going over by the border, that is some of the most majestic, rugged uh, Appalachian territory. And, you know, again, gorgeous. But as you can see, this side's completely shut down. And it, all this is going to take a long time. A long time that was a duplicate of that one 
to to straighten out. Now this is where f over 50 hospital staff workers along with patients on a hospital roof waiting to be picked up. National Guard's active. Um, you know, again, right now as we speak, people are, are still awaiting help to be rescued. This is just incredible what we are seeing. People stuck on roofs of houses and buildings this is definitely, uh, unfortunately, one for the record books. And some of the worst damage in the Appalachian Mountains. In the Appalachian Mountains. And again, you have a hurricane with uh, Florida impact. This is Laurel Falls. I mean, th these areas, if you haven't been through, uh, through them in normal times, there are waterfalls everywhere i mean just it, it, it's one of the prettiest places in in our country and the energy there is very very elemental and magical in nature um and really if you talk to the locals a lot of locals um have had encounters with the wee folk the fairy folk uh, yeah as well as bigfoot i'll tell you i've met a lot of people in those mountains that have had cryptid adventures now here you have a teenager in California has a surface-to-air missile in his closet. The kids these days. I don't know. I didn't think that they sold those at those firework shops. But hey, something's going on. Something definitely is going on with so many things and so many people. And this is just, I mean, in a kid's closet. It, it feels a little bit weird. I'm sure there's, you know, plenty of backstory to it. But um, yeah. What have we got here? Yeah, to update you again, you know, Israel's been striking Lebanon. Um, I, I think they are really watching that. So, you know, I'm not showing uh, so much of the scenery uh, from that. But let's suffice it to say Netanyahu addressed the UN and, and a huge portion of the UN walked out. Um, and you also have uh, Trump and Zelensky meeting uh, for a meeting uh, over there at Trump Tower. As was said, the stage is set. We are close to watching the literal breakup of the U.S. How are they going to do this? Where are they going to orchestrate? We'll have to see what the script is and how it plays out. But I would venture to say I really do uh, feel that, like a lot of other people feel, that we won't get to Election Day normally with no you know, no major instances. Uh, we may not get an election day. In fact, it would make a lot of sense if they did uh, say they had to cancel the elections because there was some sort of major event going on in in the country. And then you have, you know, the right saying, nope, we're not going for that. You're not keeping power that way. And before you know it, here we go. You know, Civil War number two underway. And we have this big hurricane that's bringing everybody to a halt. They can't go anywhere. Yeah, I, I think the time period, you know, what what are we now? We, we have 30 days in this month, right? And 31 next. So, you know, we're under 40 days uh, uh, to the election time uh, when it would be scheduled. I think it's going to be an absolute roller coaster. While I am much more optimistic overall, um, I, 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 I'm not going to say that we're not going to have, uh, you know, WW3 start, or you know that we don't have some sort of you know civil war revolution that gets started. Um, but what I'm hopeful for is all this, you know, to, to basically not blow up into some complete global conflagration and that we won't see those DEA, GEL numbers come to fruition. Uh, you know, the guides did not think they were going to get those type of outcomes from those numbers. Now, you know, again, they do do a lot of things for Lush, but at the same time, they do start wars all the time. You know, this is just what they do. And, and we see these, <coughs> quote, unquote, <coughs> natural disasters that many people are. I mean, I'm, when, you, when you look at Twitter and what's, 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 what's going crazy, what are people searching? They're searching HARP. They're searching CERN. They're su searching geoengineering, weather control, weather modification. You know, 
you could keep putting more and more fluoride in, but now now you can't because now there's some laws going into effect about that. Yeah, they're losing their grip, but they are lunatics and they are um, psychopaths. So, you know, you need to be very careful. As we see Cedar Island, you know, this is pretty close to ground zero. It's pretty much ground zero. House is gone. Locals estimate over 100 homes just totally gone. Not really anything standing there anymore. Horseshoe Beach, Florida. Again, this is more towards your 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 landfall and almost every single house either obliterated or it does have damage uh, again cat four making landfall and it, it was weird too because it really did feel like they knew um that this was going to be impactful for the whole southeastern united states uh keaton beach steinhatchee perry as it says destroyed in hurricane helene 30 deaths so far, four different states, 10, South Carolina, 11 in Georgia, seven in Florida, and two in North Carolina. So, you know, this is this is a nasty one. And again, for anybody to think uh, you're just uh, trying to do this and, and making a sensationalist title, no, this is real. And, and, you know, a lot of people sleepwalk through their lives, unfortunately. Too many people sleepwalk through their lives until they get, you know, plastered in their face with something that hits them and, and they were unaware. Somebody would just tap them on the shoulder. Do you guys realize what's going on? And I know you do. I'm talking about you guys tapping other people on the shoulder. And I know a lot of you guys are exhausted from tapping for so many years. And, you know, you can only tap so much. You can only talk to family so much. And, and so many of them are, are going to simply shut down. And at that point, you've done your job. All you can do is pray and just have a little bit extra for whoever. Uh, unfortunately, also, uh, what we have going on here are a lot of people who were just in kind of the matrix. And they were just living their lives innocently. And they should be able to simply live their lives, unfortunately. This control grid, they this is to be expected. This is something that they want to do. They want to bring people to their knees. And then, you know, I'm sure if we poked around here, we'd probably find some cities that are slated to be, you know, those little uh, jail cells that they're making all across the country. So um, it's a mess. It's a mess. And what can we do? And um, we can definitely send our prayers and our energy and put our um, our ener ener energetic energy. Uh, love behind this so that people find solutions i just i can't help but think of like all the pets all the animals that are suffering that probably drowned that may have gotten left behind and you know and all the people that had to leave their homes and their livelihoods and they just had to walk away they had no choice um they well they did you know it's like walk away or die it looks like that was their choice and um like anybody else they chose to live and I, I don't believe for a second this is our mother earth doing this there's too many um too much information out there about technologies that tinker with the weather and uh this is just not surprising that the controllers would do something like this so please you guys um join us we're going to be sending our prayers we're going to be doing mantras we're going to be sending our energy out toward these folks and this isn't over this is not over we still have to deal with the aftermath and then but people getting sick people trying to rebuild um this is going to take some time effort and, and a lot of love to to fix absolutely you know so yeah i agree with what cindy's saying this is not your mother earth and this is not your father creator of this universe either both of those beings absolutely adore you and love you and cherish you and they are not going to punish you uh, like this. Yes, there is karma. Uh, but really, this is the works of a, a very dark, twisted system uh, that it works on many different levels. And that system's losing control. And really, they've already lost the battle. It's, it's, just, about, um, it's just a matter of time. And so, again, try to get yourself into a good spot. And that doesn't necessarily mean physically because, as we were saying, you know, any spot can be a good spot or a bad spot. 
there's going to be trials and tribulations anywhere we are at this point in time. So it's about creating your, your bubble buffer zone. It's about your own personal protective space. How do you do that? Well, you know, basically you, you make your frequency higher. You ask for help from your guides, angel, angels. You know, I would, again, instead of just putting out a generic, oh God, I, w I would say specifically, you know, um, you know the, the creator of this universe, uh, the source of all things, or any being that you feel tied to. Again, we always go, us personally, we always go to Ganesh to remove obstacles. And Ganesh has, <laughs> has, has never failed, honestly. It, it never failed. And this is what we also uh, get from many of our our friends and family members, you know, they've literally, we, we had last week when we we're doing our regular calls, more than one person say, you know, since I've been doing the mantras, uh, this is going right, that's going right. Um, you know, I go and, and doing my business, it's growing and it's amazing. And, you know, really things are, are turning around and going really, really well for me. And then we'll see a lot of times the people that resist to do the mantras, will make some progress but it seems like it's harder and it's more sporadic it's more up and down this is because the mantras are using a language that's higher frequency than english and they're also literally really are uh, connecting to in individuals that really want to help you they really want to help you these these are beings that we know and we interact with uh, and they're fifth density and above so they're they're way above uh, all the dark matrix uh, cronies that are out there. When I look around at people's guides and angels, I see so many of them just completely sidelined because people are not asking, because they have severe blocks, because they're not having these blocks removed, because they're not doing the energy. And that it doesn't have to be that way. Our guides and angels want to help. It's up to us to initiate and invite because they're not going to walk our they're not going to walk our journey. They they love us too much for that. Yeah, so you don't have to choose between uh, your mother God, you know, goddess energy and father God. I've had so many people over the years say to me, um, mother goddess? Oh, I can't do that. No, that's that's pagan. That's heathen. That's, you know, that that's not recommended in the Bible. When I first did a ritual and I was about 19 or 20, and, you know, I asked directly uh, the goddess energy, the mother energy, and I looked for a sign. I didn't have to wait five seconds. The sign was there immediately. And, and it's always been that way because they really are there. And it's, it's so different. Yes, you know, you'll get people that will have, um, you know, benevolent acts happen for them things happen for them if they're calling on Yeshua and the saints. But again, it, it's it's having that open exchange with benevolent beings. The real Yeshua would, would absolutely do what he could do for you. Absolutely. You know, he, he is uh, just a being of pure love and compassion and understanding. He knows this world. He really knows this world. And, and he understands what we're facing. But again, sometimes we... Uh, close off those that literally are our family members that have passed on you know could be your great grandfather that's supposed to be there for you the whole time but then there's this prohibition uh, because of religious indoctrination and he's not able to act and help you because you know you're cut off from him so you know again I think it's a good idea to ask for help from you know your guides all those beings that want to help you uh, and guide you, just put it out there into the universe and they can actually start to act because they are obviously going to respect your free will. Indeed. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.